it's me, Busy, and welcome to my Undertale Yellow Let's Play. Before we start, I would like to thank you all for your patience. I have been gone for longer than I intended. It was a rough week and a half, to say the least, and I needed some time to recover. I generally like to get about one video out per week. But that did not happen last week, and I apologize, I really do. I missed Undertale Yellow, I missed you guys, I missed YouTube, but I'm ready to get back into it. Oh, I also got my hair cut. Um, that's happy news, though. That wasn't about the rough times. The haircut is about the good times. All right, let's get back into it, because I'm just, I'm just so excited to dive right, right back in. And let, can we just discuss this here for a second? I. I noticed it at the end of my last playthrough, but I just had so many things going on in my brain that I didn't even acknowledge it. Delta Rune, right? D that looks like the Delta Rune, like the Delta Space Rune that I wanted to call him Tortimer. Oh my God, this is an Animal Crossing. Gerson, that Gerson talks about. The longer you stand around talking to me, the higher that risk of frostbite gets. Now move it! Sorry, Flowey. I'm not gonna save. Look at this. It's the... Okay, so we've... We're in Snowden. Lower Snowden, apparently. There's just a big rock here. A big rock with an etching of the Delta Rune. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Oh, I, okay. We're going right. There's an igloo here! Oh. Are you a sentient igloo? Froster, froster mitt. This is one of those things that's it. I'm gonna look back at this while I'm editing and I'm gonna feel really silly. What is froster mitt? Oh, that's the name of him. I thought that was the act. I'm. I already feel silly. I didn't even have to wait till I was editing. Haha. -ha. Okay, let's check. Froster mitt. Oh, like frost hermit. I got it. Attack six, defense six, a suspicious igloo. <laughs> igloo noises are... <laughs> what are igloo noises? I, I would assume the clacking of teeth and jingle bells. You think you see the igloo move a bit. Yeah, because that's not an igloo. I'm going to... Let's inspect. It's just an igloo. No, it's clover. Yep, nothing to see here. Aren't you supposed to be like a cowboy sheriff, Clover? The igloo towers over you menacingly. Kidding, it's just an igloo. It, I mean, okay, to be fair, it does look just like an igloo. However, let's see if we can get it to dance. You do a little dance. Someone has come out to investigate. <gasps> it's a hermit crab, but an igloo. Um, hi, can I join you? I love him so much. Oh, oh, never mind. Don't pinch me, please. This attack is just lobster pinches, please. Froster, it seems to be contemplating hiding again. Don't hide. Let me con. Let's compliment. Get we got. We have to get Froster Mitt out of their shell. You compliment Froster Mitt's hiding skills. Really, ninja like? Yeah, you. Oh. He's playing Tetris. Oh, I lost. Frosterman is doing a Krusta Shuffle. A Krusta Shuffle? Can we dance too? Okay, now, now it's time to dance. You start doing a crab walk dance. Frosterman jumps in. Next time, I'll lead. Oh, oh. Okay, this isn't too hard to dodge. Just don't run into the other one. It seems like there's not much room to dodge, but there's plenty of room to dodge. Frostermit is ready to scuttle on its way. All right, bye, Frostermit. You won. Five gold. Okay, we're rich. How much gold do we have? Forty-five. That's more gold than I've ever seen when I was a kid. I mean, I would not hope. I guess it'd be kind of cool if I saw that. I don't know where I'm going with this. I had to stop and take a second after that battle because I my brain is just all over the place. I'm so excited to get back into this game. I feel like I'm running around like a headless chicken. 
<laughs> I need to center myself. I, re I need to remember what game I'm playing. I'm playing Undertale Yellow. I just finished Baldur's Gate 3, so like I get whiplash from switching between different games with different mechanics and sometimes have trouble acclimat acclimating back into the game that I was playing. So I'm like, all right, Baldur's Gate 3, I'm not even using a mouse and keyboard anymore. I need to get with it. So what if I go in this hole? Oh, I can't go in. There's a fishing hole cut into the ice. Do Clover, do you have a fishing rod? We have a sponge cake. Can we throw the cake into the hole? Why would we do that? Okay, so maybe we need a fishing rod. There's also these little foots, these little steps, foots, footstep, the little, the little footprints. You know what I mean? This, this little trail here. Oh, a box. Is there anything important that I want to put in the box? Rubber ammo? Didn't I switch that out? I don't remember. A patch. A cor Let's put the patch away for now. I'm gonna put the corn dog away. I don't want to eat a corn dog, and I don't want to eat the lonely candy corn. It reminds me too much of the abandoned quiche, and well, I don't want to eat the abandoned quiche nor the candy corn. What are these little squiggles on these rocks here? Oh, okay. There's a lot of shade here. Is this a big tree we're under? It's very peaceful. It reminds me of Stardew Valley. Okay, this is... This is nice. I see more little tra- uh, I see another trail. A bird person! It's Birdly's grandpa! Who is this? Recalibrate the lava rock puzzle. Check. Birdly's- Grandparent? Who is this? Hmm? Well, it should hold together for a few uses at least. An inventor? A scientist? And that's good enough for me. Next stop, Honeydew Resort. Wait, where? I didn't even get a chance to talk to you. She just flew away. They just flew away. I'm not quite sure what... Who's going on there? <laughs> is that the way? Is that the correct way to phrase it? You look at the glistening crystals. Your skewed reflection stares back. You look at the glistening crystals. Again, my skewed reflection stares back. What was she? What were they fiddling with over here? To whom it may concern, in accordance with the Royal Guard Guidebook Section 4, Paragraph 2, this puzzle is intended to impede the progress of an intruder, probably you. Entertain the residents of the surrounding area, Snowden, and appear intimidating to would-be intruders or wrongdoers. I'm unclear on what they mean by that. Just go with it. <laughs> to pass by this challenge, you must melt the ice cube. Make sure the ball thing, the ball thing, gets to the bottom without breaking through. Did I write this? Signed, Martlet of Underground Royal Guard. Oh, I'm assuming Martlet is the little bird that just flew away. P.S. If one of the logs gets stuck, just jiggle it a little. I noticed it was sticking the other day, but you know how it is with DIY projects. Always something has to go wrong. So yeah, just a quick jiggle will do. PPS. I just realized that you might not be able to reach the log to jiggle. <laughs> I mean, not everyone can fly or is freakishly tall, especially if you're a human or something. So just hope it doesn't get stuck. PPPS. I figured it out. If it gets stuck, just wait. I come around to inspect the puzzle quality every third day. Just hang out right where you are for a day or two. Oh, and I hope it doesn't get stuck. P P P P S. How do I get? I get the feeling that Martlet and Papyrus would get along really, really well. I have been informed that the amount of PSs on this sign is unseemly. I'm very sorry for any trouble they've caused. <laughs> I love Martlet so much. And before I continue, I'm going to backtrack a little bit because there was more than just... I came to a crossroads and I immediately went right without checking the other ways. And now we seem to be progressing. So I want to check the other way. So I'm just going to turn around and run back. Sorry, Clover. Also, I think I just I forgot that we could run up until now. So um, get used to that because I do that for whatever reason. <laughs> Just forget to run. 
I could turn the auto run on, but I, I don't, I don't know. Who's here? I'm glad I came back. Hello, friend. My husband and I have been exploring the underground. They're just like, they look like Rousey in, in his hood. I want to know what they look like under there. My husband and I have been exploring the underground. Many secrets lie throughout these lands. It makes for a great and exotic honeymoon. Unfortunately, we're a bit lost at the moment. He says he knows where we are, but I think he's just embarrassed. Any idea where we could get a map? I, I could lead you to the puzzle that I just found. Next stop on our trip is supposed to be Waterfall. I hear there are glittering stones in the ceiling. It should be breathtaking and romantic. If we ever find it, that is. You will get there, I promise you. We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. Uh, Snowden isn't that big. We're not lost. We can't be lost. It's our honeymoon. It's gotta be perfect, right? We can't be lost. That would be a terrible honeymoon. A bad honeymoon means a bad marriage. That can't happen. I can't be a bad husband. I won't let that happen. I won't let my new wife have a bad honeymoon. Oh, we can't be lost. He's so sad. He knows they're lost. He's got some hardcore denial going on. We can't be lost. She can't know we're lost, okay? Should I tell her that they're lost? You feel heat coming from the pile of stones. Oh, we can't tell her. I can't narc on him? That's for the best, I think. It's a big and imposing rock. It seems to be perfectly blocking the cave entrance. Passing looks impossible for the time being. For the time being. Okay, I see you. Mm-hmm. We'll be back for you. Okay, what's this way? Nothing? Nothingness. That's not a path. It's a wall. Well, we did it. I'm glad we came back and checked. Okay, back through this nicely wooded area. And back to our puzzle. Our regularly scheduled programming. Okay, I forgot all of Martlet's instructions already. Oh? Oh, I see! That's cute! So the little, this little lava ball rolls down the ramp and you have to move the logs out of the way and you have to do it more than once? I see, because it's melting and it's increasing the water level in the gauge, so I just have to keep going. Okay. Oh, it's rolling faster! Oh no! We did it! Okay! I was... With all of Martlet's instructions, I was expecting, like, a lot harder of a time. <laughs> can I get up there? I don't think I can. Is this a little bunny? This is... You've got your tongue stuck to a lamppost, Bun Bun. Hey, you! Can you help me off this pole? I've been here for two hours now. Three dogs came up and taught me to lick it. Three dogs? <laughs> Due to the cold weather, I'm now stuck. My mom told me to be back in time for lunch, too. Please help. <laughs> oh, I don't have anything to help. Spot. Maybe some warm coffee will free my poor tongue. All right, we gotta get some more tongue. We gotta get warm tongue. The no, you no. Oh, I don't like that mental image. We need to get some warm coffee for this poor little bunny. Some wood, presumably taken off the dilapidated shack. You notice a blue feather hidden behind it. Martlet. What is Martlet doing in this little shack here? Well, I mean, she's not here now, but I'm assuming the blue feather belongs to her. I I think Martlet is a is a her. 
What does this sign say? Dear owners of the dilapidated cabin. First, I, oh, this is Martlet, totally. First, I am very sorry that your cabin is so dilapidated. Like, I don't know what happened to it, but I'm sure it was unfortunate. Second, I am sorry that some of your wood has gone missing. According to the Royal Guard Guidebook, Section 42, Paragraph 1, so long as notice is given to the original owner at least two business days prior, all, any and all eyesores can be repurposed for puzzles or other diversions. Well, I didn't know how to contact you, but consider this notice. Unfortunately, not of the prior variety, but you know, notice. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mart, let's just run it around flexing her muscles. Howdy! Hi, Flowey. How are you holding up? Things aren't getting any easier, huh? It would be nice to walk through here without a hassle. I guess that's not how the world works. That's monsters for ya. Can never mind their own business. In any case, you're doing great. Keep it up, buddy. Thanks, Flowey! I think I called him Flowey again, and for that I apologize. Hi, Igloo! Let's dance. You did a little dance. Someone has come out to investigate. I love that the battle music has that little snowed in jingle to it. It makes me very ha happy. Um, hi, can I join you? Of course you can. Let's do a little crab dance. Like that, that little, that little bell. I just love how the battle music is customized for the area. It sounds so wintry and festive, but still very much the Undertale battle music at heart. I can't wait to hear the variations for the other areas. Oh my god! Okay, Frostermit, let's dance. Can you come dance with me more often? Of course I can. It's just, it's so easy to spare everybody. Oh, and speaking of sparing everybody, I realized that there were suggestions in my comments to do a normal route first and then do the pacifist route um, for lore and depth of story. And although I am sure you're all correct, that's probably the right way to do it. I, I think after exploring the snow grave route, reacting to the genocide route and understanding how i like to play these games i i think i'm i'm just gonna stick to the pacifist route for this run and i appreciate your understanding about that it's a snow castle how cute it is a very cute snow castle clover so what we have so we can go to the east of this screen there's also a path to the north <gasps> Insomnitot staggers forward a new enemy and their name is Insomnitot. I I love you. Check, let's check. Insomnitot, attack six, defense five. Up past its bedtime. Aw. Cool things happen 24 hours a day. Insomnitot! I actually that's like that little kid mentality. They don't want to go to sleep because they're afraid that they're going to miss all the cool things that the grown-ups do when they're going to- when they're in bed. That's why they're insomnitot! Like a little baby! I- Their enemies are so clever. Like, Crispy Scroll being a crunchy roll reference. That was cute. I liked it. So... Should we try to get insomnitot to go to sleep? We don't want to lecture them. I feel like lecturing wouldn't work. Let's sing to them. These two are kind of aggressive. Lecturing and hypnotizing. Let's sing first. You attempt to sing a quiet lullaby. Insomnitot looks bored. All right, it's not working. I see what you're doing. It's not going to work. Then um, I guess we're going to go for the hip hypnotism. Don't you? <gasps> you hit me with sheep, with jumping sheep. OK. Let's try hypnotism. Let's try hypnotism. Huzzah! You swing Insomnitot's tassel in front of its face. I'm getting sleepy? Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the Zs. Please don't hit me with your Zs. Oh, oh, I ran right into that one. Insomnitot struggles to maintain consciousness. Do we go for another hypnotism? Let's do it again. You swing Insomnitot's tassel in front of its face. 
God. Ooh, it, this reminds me of Swift, like the Pokemon move. Oh, I'm at 8 HP. Oh, okay. I guess that didn't work. Should we do it a third time? Third time's a charm? Or should I eat sponge cake? Because I'm going to die. Maybe I should eat sponge cake. You lick the frosting off of the sponge. Your mouth feels squeaky clean. I forgot that the sponge cake was literally a sponge with frosting on it. Oh my god. Uh <laughs> Sleep is for the weak. No, it's Somnitot. Please. I am weak. I need naps. I love naps. And Somnitot is trying to shake the sleepiness away. So sh let's try hypnotize. Do you think a lecture would put them to sleep? I feel like it would. Let's try three for three. If it doesn't work, then we'll do a lecture. I'm getting sleepy. Okay. I thought that maybe because the dialogue changed, it would progress if I kept hypnotizing. But I think once they're hypnotized, let's put them to sleep with a lecture. You inform Insomnitot of the dangers of sleep deprivation. It ignores you. You sound like my parents. Oh man, I thought the lecture was gonna just make them so bored they would fall asleep. So maybe let's try singing then. Ah! Oh, the smell of french fries moves past you! Why french fries? Are they still hypnotized or do I have to hypnotize again? You attempt to sing a quiet lullaby. Okay, let's try hypnotizing and then... Oh. Insomnitot! Everybody else has been easy peasy so far. What are your secrets? Tell me. <laughs> Hypnotize. Right? Yawn. Yes, please. Be asleep. What if I just have to sit here and wait for them to fall asleep? That can't be it. Let's try singing now that they're hypnotized. Oh, okay, there it is. I like that song. Insomnitot is in its happy place, so you just have to... You have to hypnotize them so they won't fight the song. Oh, little sleepy baby. Tuck them in. Get five gold. <laughs> okay, let's check to see what's this way. Is that a glass of milk on a little table? What's this? A new customer? Oh, no. Who's... Who are you and why are you so cool? Bam! He looks like if the Blues Brothers, but if it was only one of the Blues Brothers, and also he was a furry. Who am I? Nobody of note? You know? Just the best darn salesman ever! This is some Sonic the Hedgehog style music, I can hear it. Wham! I mo! Anyways, the fact that you tried to get your mitts on this mug could only mean one thing. You're looking for a delicious little something to hit the spa, right? Of course, I know your type. So you want this here beverage? I I do now. No, you don't. Wait. Liquids? So lot. What? Solids? Ha! Huh. Season before. You want to be fresh and revolutionary? I got the latest thing. Solids that used to be liquids. Snow? Ice? And you know, haven't been sitting out in the forest for three weeks. That was sitting there for three weeks? I have invented the next big thing here. For the incredibly low price of 15 gold, you can have your very own hot chocolate pop. <gasps> we can pour it on the bunny! Yeah! Give me the hot chocolate pop! It was once boring old hot chocolate, but now it's... But now it's frozen to the perfect... No! Have I piqued your interest? Sure, why not? I knew you'd be. Dang, I'm good. Let's get down to business. Here's what I got. Oh, we can buy hot pops. Let's go, hot pop. Great choice. You enjoy that pop, buddy. Can I have a lukewarm pop? Couldn't stay away? Well, bam, take your pick. Here's what I got. So we've got, we had a hot pop, a lukewarm pop, and a cold pop. So I'm gonna buy one of each. You enjoy that pop, buddy. Couldn't stay away. I, yeah, I really can't. I'm drawn to you. It's, it's your animal magnetism, Mo. You enjoy that pop, buddy. I will. Much as I'd love to keep selling pops, I'm all out. Until next time. I didn't even get to read your booth. Mo, come back. No, Mo, I love you. 
He's gone. Okay. Anyways. Hot pop. Heals 14 HP. Piping hot chocolate. Frozen, then reheated. <laughs> oh my god. Lukewarm pop. Heals 8 HP. Piping hot hot chocolate. Cool to lukewarm status. Cold pop. Cold pop. Heals 12 HP. Piping hot hot chocolate. Cooled cold. You're ridiculous. We need to get to that rabbit. I'm afraid that if I use the hot pop, I'm gonna burn that little rabbit's tongue off. I'm considering using the lukewarm pop, but <laughs> I'm, I don't know. Hi, Igloo. I mean, Frostermit. They're so cute. I used to keep hermit crabs when I was a kid. I remember one of them escaped and I was so sad because I thought they were gone and they died somewhere and they just ceased to exist. Um, but they uh, just went behind my dresser and I found them and they were okay. <laughs> they were an adventurer! Until they took an arrow to- I'm not gonna do it, I'm sorry. Okay, bye, Frost Hermit. What is this? I got distracted by trash on the floor. My god. Hey, I'm back! Bunny, here, look, I have a hot pot for you. Maybe the warm coffee will... Fr you don't want the hot pop? What about the lukewarm? No? What about lukewarm? You want- the hot chocolate will work! <gasps> I ate it! It has the distinct flavor of something that was once hot. I... ate the hot chocolate pop. The bunny rejected my hot chocolate pop! What am I supposed to do? I feel like saving now would be a mistake, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Still doing great, pal. I guess you needed extra confirmation? Don't worry. I meant the first time just as much as the second. Don't look at me like that, Flowey. I see you with your smug little mug. Okay, so we can keep going up to see what was at the end of Moe's hallway. Let's do that. Oh? More hallway? What is going on here? No cone comes to see if you are made of fire. You aren't. It's a snow cone with legs and horns and instead of snow, it's like a psychic ball of ice cream. You're crazy. I love you. I love I I can't keep saying I love you to everything in this game. It's not realistic. I So what do we do? Let's check first and foremost. No cone, attack six, defense seven, one ski short of a snowmobile. One ski short of a snowmobile? But no cone knows. No cone here, fire bright pretty, no cone like bright pretty. Oh, I thought no cone was gonna be like a super psychic being, but they sound more like a caveman-ish being. Snow cone, what is that? No Cone takes a break from hunting for fire to gather some berries. No Cone is a caveman. Okay. Uh, be right. Let's encourage. Good job, No Cone. You encourage No Cone to follow his dreams. No Cone wants see fire. No Cone pursue fire dream. Yeah, I yeah, you can, No Cone, but I'm I fear for your safety. No Cone is banging a rock against a fallen branch. The branch breaks. What was the point, No Cone? Um, educate? You patiently explain the dangers of an open flame. No cone seems receptive. Okay, good. Fire hot melt no cone? No cone not know this. You good friend to no cone. Oh, I love you, no cone. It's okay. Can I touch the orange one? I kind of wanted to. Would have it healed me? No cone has been enlightened. That's amazing. No cone already looked enlightened. I guess the that's fine what is, is this a castle a snow castle with real doors it's a snow castle how cute 
You open the doors. There's a tinier door behind the doors. You open the drawbridge. It's a tinier door behind the drawbridge. Your head hurts too much to keep going. No, please keep Clover. It's not that complicated. We're only two layers down. It's fine. What's in here? I can't touch this? That's okay. Okay, I thought this little frozen lake would be like the other, the bigger one that we saw and I'd be able to interact with the puddle, but I could not, so that's okay. There are so many branching paths in this Snowden, it's driving me nuts. I, the branching paths give me so much anxiety. Does that say U-G-P-S? Oh, is that a big pink whale? A flying male whale? Oh, oh. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh gee, a customer. I'm nervous. I'm a male whale! That is a male whale! I was right! I'm a male whale from the Underground Postal Service. Haven't heard of us? We're the best. For short, just call us UGPS. So I hear you're new to the Underground. How you ask? Well, word sure gets around. The Underground is great and it keeps getting better. Cause I brought for you your very first letter. Oh, I got mail! That was a special letter from us to you. Do you feel welcome now? I hope you do. Isn't the mail system a wonderful innovation? If you ever want to use it, just come to a station. They look just like this, and they're scattered all about. If you want to receive some mail, find one and give us a shout. We assure you, they are conveniently situated. Here at UGPS, we're anything but dated talking and sharing all using mail from your underground friends but that's all for this whale now i must be off the mail mustn't be late see you later on in your journey mate oh the male whale oh the characters in this game are so great i called i called the male whale back i had to hello again friend do you have mail to claim let's take a look you don't what a shame if you want to check again, just ring the bell. Until we meet again, I bid you farewell. <sighs> I can't handle this rhyming whale. A safe spot? Hi, Flowey. Howdy. Must say, I didn't remember this place being so, you know, colorful. Really can't go two seconds without getting harassed around here. Hasn't anyone heard of personal space? Unless someone can mail you to Oscor, I don't see why we need them. Anyway, let's get a move on. Time's a-wasting. Flowey, you need to be nice to everybody. I don't like that Flowey seems like they like he wants to isolate me from everybody else. Let's read our intro letter. The letter has noise. Come, new friend, right here to our space. Whether you roam or stay in one place, we hope you have friends with fun letters to send and always a smile on your face. Here's to more mail without any stress. Hope to see you again. That didn't rhyme, UGPS. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. The love and care that went into crafting this fan game is amazing. The remnants of a snowman, once full of life, now full of potential for new life. Snowman, let's go! I don't want to talk about remnants of old life. It's too sad, even though it's very hopeful. <gasps> is that hot coffee? Oh, GTA flashbacks. Weird. Hey, watch it! Oh, ho, ho, it's cool coffee. Look at those glasses. Would you look at that? I think this chum wants to pass. Swig, toast, come over here. Yeah, boss. What's up? You need a shave again? We got ourselves some fresh meat. Ha, huh, you ain't getting nowhere, small fry. Yeah, not nowhere. Will you do put a lid on it? Um, anyway... The name's Refill. Stop. I'm the boss of the world-renowned gang, the Shufflers. We rule this town. If you want to pass, you're going to have to go through us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to start a fight. Let's be civil here. Do you attempt to attack everyone you encounter? Actually, no. Calm down, will ya? Have I been? Are those random encounters made by me or the monsters? Jeez. 
We shufflers prefer to settle things in a more dignified manner. You catch my drift? We would like to propose a challenge. A game of sorts. A game... You're gonna make me find the ball. We'll take this ball here and hide it under one of us. Next, we'll shuffle around. When we finish, you'll have to guess who has the ball. We'll do this three times in a row. You win? You can pass. You lose? We'll sit here blocking you for all eternity. When am I gonna find the coffee for the bunny? You picking up what I'm putting down? Yeah, sure. That makes things easy then. Will you spill your innards all over a rabbit's tongue, please? It's a dire situation. Here we go. Wait, where's the ball? Okay, thank you. I see the ball. I'm okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Nice eye, kid. Keep it up. Okay, I see you. You're trying to make it a little- It's still the middle! Yeah! You're doing good, kid. Now don't let it go to your head. Oh no, it's- They're gonna go insanely fast now, aren't they? I see it. It's on the right side. Now. Okay, okay. It's still the middle! Is it always the middle? <laughs> Boss, I think the little punk beat us. That must have been a lucky guess. There's no way a glass of spoiled milk like you could beat us. Now, now, Toast. Let's simmer down. There ain't nothing to get heated over. The kid beat us fair and square. The shufflers ain't nothing if not true to their word. Ain't that right? Yeah, boss, the shuffler always keeps their word. Yeah, always. Now, kid, we'll let you pass on through. You've earned yourself a powerful friend in the shufflers today. All you gotta do is remember the name. And we'll be on your side if you ever need us. The shufflers always protect a friend, right boys? Yeah, you got a problem, we can handle it. Yeah, handle. Can you guys help me with a rabbit? You best be behaving out there, kid. Do the shufflers proud. If you don't, you might wind up an old, discarded tea bag. <laughs> You catch my drift? Please don't teabag me. You're in the Shuffler's neighborhood now. You want to pass through here? You're going to have to get through us. We got a real hard game for you. Only one monster ever got past us. Oh, that was you, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> you spreading the word of the Shuffler's reign yet? It's pretty nice knowing we got someone out there, you know? It's a stressful having to run the gang and run our publicity, too. And remember, if you ever need anything, we'll be here. There's always more monsters that need an inconveniencing, eh, eh, inconveniencing. <laughs> you kid me? That was not inconvenient at all. That was very fun. The Honeydew Resort. This is a very large, very cute sign. Is that a giant bear with like, <gasps> it's like a bear with a saddle and uh, it's like the bees are riding the bear. Welcome to the Honeydew Resort. North, the Honeydew Lodge. Northwest, the Honeydew Hot Spring. East, exit to Snowden. Oh my god! I love this place! Looks like this bear fell asleep on its way to the resort. It has jars of honey tied to its back. They're getting cold. Aw, bear, wake up! Looks like this bear fell asleep on its way to the resort. Okay, I thought, the, I thought if I clicked on the back of the bear, I'd get a different interaction for the jars. Okay, so let me read this sign again. Welcome to the Honeydew Resort. North is the Honeydew Lodge. Northwest is the Honeydew Hot Spring. East is the exit to Snowden. There are so many branching paths that I didn't go down. I'm gonna have to backtrack. Let's save here at this, at this flowy spot first. Is that a purple gorilla? And flames man's brother or friend i don't know now this is what i'm talking about a perfect place to relax and de-stress well not perfect a bit crowded for my taste at least that keeps things interesting flowy this log has a face and a sock nothing like avoiding life's responsibilities by lounging all day been here for two weeks hit the same spot every day it's so easy to lose yourself out here I don't even know if I have a job to go back to. <laughs> it's pretty great. <sighs> Maybe would it, I'll just go live in the wild and find my own food. That should be everyone's goal in life. <laughs> I'm gonna be here a while. Know any good campfire songs? I don't, I'm sorry. 
Hey, have you seen those loiterers outside? That's you! You're a loiterer! They keep telling me they're a well-renowned gang, but I've never heard of them before. Maybe I- You ain't heard of the Shufflers, pal? Maybe I really am getting to be out of the loop. I think so. Maybe I'll check out the band inside. A band? I hear they're pretty kickin'. I hope I'm hip enough to appreciate them at least. Maybe, uh... Okay. Same dialogue. I- You have to- You have to talk to all of these characters at least twice. Because their dialogue changes often. It's nice. This way to the hot spring. Okay. And then... If we go this way, that should take us to Snowden. The back of the resort. Any secrets back- <gasps> I went through the back door?! Are you enjoying the tunes as much as I am? Actually, don't answer that. You're not. <laughs> I used to be one of those super fans you hear about. Followed the band around from place to place. Learned all the aliases they used in hotels. <laughs> Watched them buy their favorite brands of cereal. I'm reformed now. Well, that's good. I'm glad you've reformed because that's intense. Now I'm content to sit and listen. I, are you okay? Except you just tried to gatekeep me. So I think you need some more reform. You know why they told me to go on this vacation? Well, cause I come off as stressed, but you know why that is? I have a theory, see? Cause there are just so many things in life to worry about. Work and laundry and, and imminent starvation and so on. <laughs> Those are important back home, but here, still important. Monsters pretend they're not tough. And you know what that is? Despicable, irresponsible, shameful behavior. You know how much part, you know how much part I'll have in it? None, zip, zero, zilch. And that's how much you should have too. <laughs> what? I just realized something. This, this anti-stress thing, you know what this is? The downfall of the underground, that's what it is, see? Soon monsters will stop doing the important things. The work and laundry and such. Completely undone. And you know why? Too much to worry about. That's what they'll say. Toxic. Toxic behavior. <laughs> this guy is just... You need to, like... This is one of those people that if you tell them that they should relax, they will, like, jump down your throat. It's... Don't do it. <laughs> Can't wait until this vacation is over, you see. At this altitude, so much to worry about. Like, like, dehydration, you know? what that causes altitude sickness no don't you go drinking that coffee dries you right out coffee <gasps> coffee oh i yes i heard you about the altitude sickness and the coffee nothing could beat this actually that's a lie if they were playing my favorite song that would beat this easy mind asking them to play it for me i'll make it worth your while well what's the song hmm nice tune Boy, do I remember the first time I heard this song. Not my favorite, though. <laughs> What's your favorite? You never told me. Can I drink this juice? A cooler full of honey, ready for drinking. Yum? Wait, no, I want some honey. Drink the honey, Clover. Don't be a coward. How's it hanging? The name's Rodney. I'm the leader of our little band here. Your band is quite nice. I like them. We travel all around the underground performing for the monsters. This resort is a regular gig. Care to hear a tune? Yeah! Sounds good, friend. Here's one for the monsters that like a little time to themselves. Like Flowey? See, look, the Delta Rune is on the drum kit. Hmm, nice tune. Boy, I do remember the first time I heard this song. Not my favorite, though. You, you never told me your favorite. How am I supposed to request it? Hey, kid, the get up. I'm guessing you're from the dunes, eh? Wacky place that is. I'm probably the only other one here that's been around those parts. Some monsters avoid it due to the dryness and high temperature. What's a kid like you doing hanging around with these wild guys, eh? Don't look so confused. I'm just messing with ya. The dunes? There's, <gasps> there's a new area? Do we get to see the dunes? You've got to try the pancakes here. They're the main reason I traveled all this way. For pancakes? They've got to be amazing pancakes. Welcome to the Honeydew Resort. Please look around. Was that the line? I I, I think you're good. This resort? Um, well... This resort has been a family business for years. She moved! They moved! We use local honey in all of our goodies while providing a warm place to visit. It was started by my great-great-uncle back in... 
Or was it my great great grandfather? <laughs> I. Oh! I can't answer this customer's simple question. I'm not cut out for this job. Y you want to talk? They're losing their composure. So, uh, more about this place? Our amenities are neat. The honey cooler, our coveted latte machine, oh, and the space heater, that's a special one. It was donated to us by a real nice engineer by the name of Chujin. His appearance helped as well. His apprentice, his appearance, his apprentice helped as well. He worked in the steamworks ages ago when it was, you know, operational. Of course, everyone around here knew him for his generosity and soft smile. Always wanted to make people feel welcome. The heat from that machine often reminds me of those days. I hope it does you too. If you were there, which you weren't. <laughs> oh, she just puts her head down. Her animations are so cute. I'll shut up now. How's business? It's better than ever. This is the place to be in Snowden. Some come from the band, some for the hot springs. But the monsters love our coffee the most. We need the coffee. I don't blame them one bit. It's a sweet blend of coffee beans, hazelnut creamer, and honey. Straight from the forest. Oh, her eyes got all cute and anime when she talked about her 13 cups this morning. I've already had 13 cups this morning. <laughs> the band? Let's see. We have a few acts that come here to play. The band is a very popular one from Hotland. <gasps> Oh, you should totally hear their new single. I especially love the chorus. It's so good and... and... Oh no. I've just been talking about what I like. You must be so bored. This is why I don't like conversations. I feel this case... Did they even tell me their name yet? I can't remember, but I feel this character in my soul. Dalve, that name rings a bell. Hmm. Oh, I remember. Strange little guy. He would often visit here, sit down, and watch the band. It looked like he was in a trance every time he watched them. I always wanted to talk to him, but the thought of socializing that much always scared me. Before I could muster the courage, he suddenly stopped visiting. I wonder where he went. To go live in a corn... Empire. If you see him, be sure to tell him he's always welcome here. Aww. I I don't ever want to talk about how Delve's name is Vlad backwards. <laughs> how did I not catch that myself? <laughs> Terrible. Okay, can I buy some coffee, please? Heals 14 HP. It'll warm you right up. Honeydew pancakes. It's shaped like my face. <gasps> I want... I don't have money. I need the coffee first, so let's get that. And I have 38 gold left, so I can either get the honeydew pin or the GB bear, which looks just like the shopkeeper. I, uh... But the honeydew pin gives me four defense. We'll come back for the pin, because I have to do some backtracking, and I'm sure while I backtrack, I'll get some gold from sparing monsters. So we're going to get the, the bear face. It's just an HP item, but I really want it. <laughs> Thanks, stranger! <laughs> okay, let's see. Can I say anything now that I've bought your face? No, okay. Um, do you buy stuff? I appreciate the offer, but my dad would ground me if I bought items off strangers! That's what he always told me. Don't buy items off strangers. Ha ha ha. Oh. You're adorable. Okay, I gotta go. See ya. Thanks for being so kind. I love this honey tender, bro. Oh my god. How did Undertale Yellow Team do it? How did they manage to create these wonderful little characters? Can I talk to the band more? Care for a tune, my dude? Sounds good, friend. Here's one for the monsters that like a little time to themselves. It's the same tune. Okay, so we went through the back entrance. We can leave through the front entrance. So we went to the resort. The hot springs is up here. We have the coffee. Let's check out the hot springs and then we'll go talk to our bunny friend. 
I wish my left hand was as cozy as my right. Normally I have two middens, so my warmth is symmetrical. But I think my left midden took a vacation or something. It just left me. Well, if I find your mitten, I'll let you know, friend. I am so sorry about your asymmetrical warmth. That would bug me, too. <gasps> you are very interesting. You're like a gecko with too much coffee. There's a torch on one side, but not on the other. The feng shui of this place is terrible. Wait, what if there's a deeper meaning to it? The torch is a metaphor for the incomplete nature of life. I'll never look at the underground the same way again. He is us. Every single one of us when talking about Undertale and Deltarune. <laughs> look, yep, that's, aha, uh -huh, that's us. What's inside this little torch that looks more like a tiny volcano? Hello, are you enjoying the warm atmosphere that can only be brought by a torch? Yeah, kind of. It is pleasant. Is it sentimental? Is it attractive? Man, I love being a torch. That's very, oh, I'm happy for you. What is this on the floor? It looks like a little splotch of mustard. I can't interact with it. This is the hottest spot in Snowden, quite literally. I wanted to come here for forever, and this is finally my chance. It was worth the wait. This is complete bliss. You know what the best part of this place is? No one knows why the water is so hot here. It's a mystery. Not a monster alive could tell you. It's not the torch. There are all sorts of theories, of course. Some say it's heated by hot rocks deep underground. Some say it's caused by volcanic activity. Some say it's heated by runoff from the core in Hotland. Whatever it is, the water is so relaxing that folks don't seem to care. At least I know I don't. Everything just melts away. Ah, so nice and warm. Swimming is a great full body workout. Are you seeing these limbs? I've never been so toned. On top of that, I've dropped a whole goggle size. I, I think you're just a ball, but I'm not gonna judge. Maybe you have little philia, is that what they're called? Little things on your tongue and in your throat, like little tendrils that help move things along. Pel pel pelpy? I don't know. Sorry, I can't talk anymore. I've got swimming to do. Those pounds don't drop themselves. What if this guy's got like 10,000 limbs and they're all just teeny tiny moving him around? I thought about that too much. Okay, we need to take the coffee to the rabbit. Hi guys. I'm on my way to see my friend, the rabbit. Their tongue is stuck. It's unfortunate, but I will save them. <laughs> This is my life. Ah! Rabbit, I've got you coffee. Rabbit, please. Hold on. Please still be there. Oh, good. You didn't break your tongue off. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Do not use the wrong menu, Clover. Coffee. You take out the cup of coffee. Hey, what are you crazy? What are you crazy? That thing is theming! I need something hot, but not that hot! Are you serious? What about a lukewarm pop? You take out the cup of- Can I blow on it? Oh my god, what do you want? <laughs> Honeydew coffee! It was 14 HP! It would take the true bravery to drink something this hot! So what, do I just keep it in my inventory for a little while until it cools down? This is- the, they've done this intentionally. I ran into the hot pops, which is the hot chocolate. And I brought that back because I thought that would work. It did not work. I thought the, the cups, the shakers, what are they called? I thought they were going to help me. They did not. <laughs> and now you're telling me the coffee's too hot. You know, it's fine. It's a, I, you I remember you. Oh my god, how are you? 238. 239. At this pace, Ice Wolf is ready for a new job in no time. Ice Wolf! New job is very important for Ice Wolf. Ice Wolf needs money for new pants. What about a shirt? You're only wearing pants like a reverse Winnie the Pooh? I respect it. Like a Crash Bandicoot. Humph. 
Hoof! I like I I like Ice Wolf. Ice Wolf, throw the ice over me. Yes. Okay, well, I figured out what was at this dead end. That's good, right? There's another one I was missing too, I think. No, I don't think so. Maybe. Okay, let's I Where are we going? Flowey, sa Flowey, save me! I just... What are you doing back here? The exit's the other way, silly. Let's get going. I know, Flowey, I just had to talk to a rabbit who didn't want my coffee. I don't know if we can help them. They might just be stuck there. It might not be something that we can actually fix. Right? We went to the hot spring. We went and got the coffee. We... I guess it's time... Is it really time to go to Snowden? I'm nervous! All right, Clover. Let's go. What does this sign say? Honeydew Resort. Family owned and operated. All travelers are welcome. I'm a traveler. Wow, it's colder today than usual, huh? If I wasn't extremely lazy, I'd go to the Honeydew Resort and get some hot coffee. <laughs> you take out the cup of coffee. For me? How can I ever thank you? Here, I found this in the snow. It was probably out there for ages. You got a soggy- Oh! The mitten! We- Oh! Oh! We just traded the coffee for a mitten? The coffee is a little hot. I'm going to let it cool down. I'm not crazy, you know. In the meantime, I'll get to making a campfire so I don't freeze. This is like one of those, um... It reminds me of the little quests that they had you do in Animal Crossing for the GameCube. Where one of the animals would say, hey, I lent my camera to Biff over in C4. Can you go get my camera for me? But then you go to Biff and he's like, oh, I lent the camera to Patchy. And um, if you go get that from Patchy and bring me back this, it's like a little fetch quest that just keeps going. It's it's cute. It's just, it feels very nostalgic for me. You take out the soggy mitten. That's my missing mitten! Just in time, too! My left hand was getting so jealous, I just can't leave- I just can't live with that much civil unrest. I should really pay you back, but I don't think I have anything worth as much as my mitten. I know! Take this! It's a map of Snowden! <gasps> oh! You got a map of Snowden! It's drawn in crayon! <gasps> Someone wanted- Oh! The lovers! They wanted a map on the honeymoon! Let's go back and help them! They're lost! Oh, I love- this is so cute! And then by the time I come back, that- that other person may have their campfire all set up already. It's- I'm just- I'm so excited. It's- uh, there's been so much backtracking, but at this point, I don't even care because I'm just so excited about being able to recall what I'm supposed to do on those quests. Oh no, but I don't remember where that couple is. Are they this way? I thought they were north of something for some reason. I think it's this way. For some reason, I remember going north to see them. I don't- oh, did I- I think I missed this spot too. I'm glad I came back. I read something in a phone book once. It's- I read something in a book once. A phone book. Where did I get that from? It said, if life comes at you too fast, press B and take it slow. Whatever that means. <laughs> Is that reverse running? Because if you press B, you go faster. Is that all that's here? Is this crazy guy? <gasps> take the ice pellets? Oh, is that a weapon? An old and fragile tree. I think those are, um, that's like new ammo. Okay. Ice ammo. Weapon attack six. Very conveniently shaped ice cubes. They don't seem to be melting either. How thoughtful of them. <laughs> Let's look at the map. It's a hand-drawn map. It seems more colorful than the real Snowden. Let's look at this bear face. GB Bear. Heals 20 HP. A cookie made to look like someone's face. What a creative and original idea. <laughs> okay. Let's go back this way, maybe? Ugh. Okay, here's the bunny. I don't think- I think we ran into the bunny before the lost people. No? 
the lost people are still okay wow the lost people are very far back right i think so i think maybe uh maybe i'm the lost people now no they're up here they're up here hi i brought you guys a map we can't be lost she can't know we're lost okay well i brought you a map you take out the map a map? Splendid! Did you make this just for us? I wish I had something as heartfelt to give in return. Would you like some extra matches? I've been holding on to them in case we needed a fire. We won't need any more. Our love will keep us warm. Sorry, that's a little cliche, isn't it? Well, I wish you the best. Don't use all those matches in one place. Receive some matches. I have a feeling that the, the first person that, that we gave the coffee to... I have a feeling they're going to need the matches because I don't recall anybody else talking about needing matches to start any fires. I hopefully no one has asked for matches to burn the place down, right? I'm not recalling that conversation. I'm trying. Do you want to set your tongue on fire? <laughs> you want some matches? <laughs> okay, never mind. I have a feeling. We're going to bring the matches back. That person will have failed to have started their fire. We can give them the matches to start a fire. And then they're going to give us the coffee back. And it's not going to be as hot anymore. That's what I think is going to happen. I hope that's what happens. Flowey is so upset right now. Flowey is like, just go to Snowden. <laughs> Please, why are you talking to all these people? Monsters. Monsters are people too. You take out the matches. Are those matches? Can I have them? Yes. You're a lifesaver. I really need help with this fire. I, uh, I don't really have anything else to give you. Here, take your coffee back, I guess. It got cold while I was working anyway. You got a cup of lukewarm coffee? Yes, I knew it! I told you! Okay, let's go back. Okay. Let's talk to Flowey first. Hi, Flowey. Feel free to slack off for a while, kid. I'll be here checking out the hot springs. You got it, Flowey. I, I, I don't know. This is definitely not slacking, but I'm hoofing it. For being a cowboy, you'd think that I would have, like, brought a horse down here with me or something. A pony, even? Like, a small donkey. I will even- I could ride a small donkey! We are almost there. We're so close. I'm here! Rabbit! Please! You pour the warm coffee on the pole. The ice starts to melt. <gasps> we did it! I've been trying to fix this poor rabbit. It's like the thing that I've been trying to do since I got here. At last, I am liberated. I cannot thank you enough. You are a wonderful Samaritan. Here, a token of my gratitude. You got a silver scarf. <gasps> Knitted by my auntie with abundant passion. May it warm your skin and your soul, good fellow. Now, I must get home. Post haste. Mother is bound to be perturbed already. Farewell. Are you just live in the bushes? Ah! What does our silver scarf do? Silver scarf. Armor defense six. A glistening scarf woven with love and care. Restores two HP after every turn. Ooh! You wrap the silver scarf around your neck. So cozy. That's the old... Okay, we had a feather in our hat. Now we're using the scarf. Oh, that's great. What a good item. It should, it should be, too. It was worth it. With all that backtracking. If he had just been like... Or if that little rabbit would have just been like... Yo, thanks. And left. I guess that would have been... Thank you would have been good enough, too, I guess. But that scarf is really cool. Okay, it's finally time. We're gonna save for real. I know Flowey. Snowden time? Hey bud, where's your fire? Why am I still standing here idle? I've frozen. I cannot move my body anymore. Don't worry. This is nature's way of letting me be lazy. 
<laughs> Nature's way of letting you be lazy. Just <gasps> it's Bartlett. They're like an inventor. Bridge slippery during snowfall. No running. I'm gonna run. Royal guards thinking they're all special. They don't have screening processes like they used to. How do they interview these bozos? Do you want to be a member of the Royal Guard? Yes? Here's a uniform. You start Monday. Just look at this puzzle. It was a perfectly nice bridge once. I remember what it looked like as a bridge. I would have called it a pretty handsome bridge. Now you can say homemade is charming or whatever, but you can't call it handsome. No way, no way. <laughs> You can't just hire anyone for a position like this. What do they do? Advertise for free royal guard post in the mail? Despicable. That you are a judgmental judger. I probably would be too. It's okay. So can I just go this way instead? What is this? Is this a sack? What if I just sit here on the sack for a second? Just sacking it up. I know Undertale in their ways. I will sit here for a second. Maybe not. Okay, I guess no, it's just a, a pillow sack at the end of... I'm not going to think about it anymore. Is that your sack? I don't think it's their sack. Run! Oh, it won't let... I actually, it won't let me press the run button. Oh, hey, I thought that's what that's for. Okay. <sighs> I got you. Fine, fine, fine. I will time it. Okay. Yeah, please. <laughs> that was a I understand the squid person's anger toward that bridge now. It was very hectic, very overwhelming. Ten steps to the east. Second sign. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's no sign here. What is a step? How big is this? Ten steps to the east, second sign. That's not. Trihecta wobbles forward. Oh my god, are those little chicks? Trihecta. Listen here. Trihepta, attack seven, defense eight, intimidatingly tall. I'm tired of being overlooked. Why, because you're in the middle? Oh, oh, you're, oh, the balls. Trihecta seems to be pushing each other's buttons. Um, can, can we climb them? <laughs> you attempt to climb Trihecta. Tri pushes you away for stepping on them. Be careful up there, okay? That didn't work. <laughs> Are their names Tri, Heck, and Ta? Is that it? A gust of wind threatens to topple Tri Hecta's pile. Um, let's push them. You push Tri Hecta away. <laughs> don't fall, don't fall, don't fall! <laughs> I like their attacks. They're just balls. Atta they're just big balls. Trihecta begins to sway back and forth. Um, should we push them again? Trihecta topples over. Oh, I told you this would happen. They, they look like little Tamagotchis or like eggs in pants. I love them so much. The one on the left is the best with a straight face. Trihecta regroups, then bickers. Spare. You won. You earned 12 gold. They were... Oh. Little egg pants. 10 steps to the east. Third sign. 10 steps to the west. First sign. Those aren't steps. One, two, three, four, five. I guess running steps, maybe. Okay, no more signs. That's it. Are you trying to, like, teach me how to count footsteps? Hi, Insomnitot. You swing Insomnitot's tassel in front of its face. I'm getting sleepy? Ah! Ooh, those sheep almost got me. Insomnitot struggles to maintain consciousness. Well, let me sing to you, my friend. You attempt to sing a quiet lullaby. Insomnitot drifts off to sleep. 
I like that song. Insomnitot is in its happy place. Bye, Insomnitot! Have a good nap! Oh, it's like a little frozen over marshy area here. There's like definitely reeds sticking out of the floor, like it floor, like out of the ground, like it's a wetlandy area, but it's all frozen over the detail. Oh my gosh. You take a look inside the barrel and find some coffee beans. Take it. Yes. You got the coffee bean ammo. I have coffee bean ammo? Coffee ammo. Weapon attack, four. There's no way you could eat them, but they might still be of use. I, 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 <laughs> I was thinking they would do, like, something special, like, give you some kind, give the enemy some kind of speed attack or something. I don't know why that would be beneficial to you. It really wouldn't. I just thought it'd be cool. <laughs> Hi, Insomnitot. Are you getting sleepy? I wonder if I could pay someone to hypnotize me. That's not like as soon as I like said pay someone to hypnotize me, it suddenly became a really dumb idea because I don't want to pay for anything. But I wonder if I could get hypnotized. I think that my mental fortitude would definitely protect me. I that was a lie. Is my nose bigger? Probably. It's okay. Okay, where are we now? There's a big yeah. Oh, it's another Martlet puzzle. Okay, Martlet. I see you. I see your game. Some leftovers from this puzzle's construction. To whom it may concern, after building the first ball puzzle, I realized a fatal flaw of its design. How was an intruder supposed to, like, see it? The puzzle was on a higher plane, out of your average monster's eyesight. If someone solved that puzzle, they must have been very good at guessing. In any case, I have created an improved version. Is that, is that like a fourth wall thing that they just did? With a new vertical design, you can now see what you're controlling. The parts may still get stuck, though. Please refer to my instructions back on the first puzzle if that happens. Sign, Martlet of the Underground Royal Guard. Okay, Martlet, let's do this. What's going on here? Oh! 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 You can do it! You can- How do I shake it? Oh! Oh! No! I need more momentum. Oh. I messed up. They're not supposed to make the puzzle harder. And it should be like... Oh darn, it was too high. Okay. Now, here? Because if they're too high, it'll lose momentum. But if it's too low, you want to like... Yeah, you got to move that last one as it's coming down to kind of bump it. To give it like a little hop, I think. Oh, darn. Okay. Martlet, I thought I didn't- I was taking your puzzles as seriously as papyruses, but now, I don't know about you. You just gotta make sure they're level. Yeah, and then you gotta do like a whoop. Yeah! There you go. You just need some momentum. It's like the shrines in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Okay, again. That's definitely what this is reminding me of. The shrine puzzles in Breath of the Wild. Don't- Oh! Oh! Too much momentum! Now it really feels like a shrine puzzle. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay. Less momentum. I got too good. Oh! Okay. Oh! <gasps> It almost went over. I like that the game catches that you got it in the right area and is like, whoop, nope. <laughs> You're not gonna miss. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Hi, howdy, Flowey. Howdy, we're almost out of here. I'm surprised that guard never saw you nearby. What guard? Their puzzles sure weren't impressive. Oh, Martlet. <laughs> Martlet's a guard? <laughs> Well, I guess they're a part of the Royal Guard, but I thought Martlet would have different duties, like, 
puzzle construction. Their puzzles sure weren't impressive, that's for certain. Knowing that, I wouldn't worry if you run into them. Whatever happens, I wish you luck. Thanks, Flowey. I don't... That was not ominous at all. Let's put these ammos away. Um, we'll put the feather away and we'll keep everything else. You notice a fresh pancake lying under the bench? Yeah! Obtained the honeydew pancake. What is there? A wooden bench. A wooden bench. How? I... I was thinking about the quiche again. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing there. Okay. <gasps> Is, are we almost at Snowden? I keep saying, are we almost at Snowden? And we are not. <gasps> it's Martlet. Hmm. Oh, hello. Sorry, I don't know where my head was right there. It seems I have a summer home in La La Land these days. You look a bit lost. Are you looking for directions? I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not actually an information kiosk. I know this place like the back of my wing, though. I don't like... I don't get lost much at all anymore. I can get you wherever you want to go. Wait. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark here, but... You're human, right? I knew it. I knew I'd find a human. You must be human, right? Right? I love the expression on Martlet's face. It's so, like... Ambitious. I can't... It's... It's such a great expression. I can t I feel so much of her personality just coming from this PNG. Uh, I it's uh, it's so good. It's it the characterization is nice. I already feel like I know Martlet and we just were just introduced to her. You look just like this guy on this poster I saw once. He had a hat just like you. Like the facial expressions, the way that they it's and he was totally human, so, like, transitive property or something like that? Actually, I think he was from space. Are there space humans? You know what? I'll have plenty of time to ask you questions later. Are you ready for some Royal Guard protocol? I hope you are, because I memorized it. Are you going to fight me? Is that a book? <laughs> ah! Martlet of the Royal Guard has encountered a human! Prepare to apprehend. Protocol 1. Be courteous and allow your opponent the first attack. Martlet of the Royal Guard is waiting for your turn. This is... Oh, what are those card outlines there? Is she gonna Yu-Gi-Oh me? Please don't. Check. Martlet. Attack 8. Defense 10. A little scatterbrained. Mmm. I don't think I'm supposed to be helping you, but that was supposed to be your turn. It's okay. I space out and miss stuff like that all the time. I'll let you go again. Martlet is nervously, nervously consulting her royal guard guidebook. Um, I'm, I don't want to ru rush. Ignore. You ignore Martlet's rambling. It doesn't look like she's noticed. Uh, uh, hold on. I have the guidebook on me. I'll check what to do when someone doesn't actually attack. You can just, um, take another turn. Go for it. Hit me as hard as you can. Martlet is blinking a lot. Maybe it's a god. It probably isn't. Oh my god. Let's, what does Rush do? Like, rushing her or, like, rush, like, run in? You tap your wrist impatiently. Martlet looks apologetic and tries to talk a little faster. Uh, okay, I'm really sorry for the wait. I'm looking. I'm not the best royal guard, you know, but I'm really trying to be better. Last week, I apprehended this girl. Total human. Oh, I think it's your turn. Martlet catches herself getting lost in the music. What a doofus. I'm gonna ignore her again. You ignore Martlet's rambling. It doesn't look like she's noticed. Ah, oh, royal guards are to proceed to the next step without hesitation. Oh, does that count as hesitation? What protocol to? My attack? Okay, all right, she's finally got it. She's attacking now. Woo! Oh, I see the lines designate what direction it's gonna go through in that circle. Nice, okay. Martlet is nervously consulting her royal guard guidebook. Come on, Martlet. You fake a yawn. Martlet starts talking faster still. 
That was only a warm-up. Prepare for the Royal Guard Gauntlet. Oh! Oh! You're just gonna throw your tools at me? But what about your tools, Martlet? Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, was that a bowling ball? A gust of wind blows a little blue feather in your face. Martlet looks embarrassed. <laughs> You tap your wrist impatiently. Martlet looks apologetic and tries to talk a little faster. Hiya! Come on, Martlet. Oh! Ah! Oh! Okay. I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of Martlet. There we go. Okay. Everything smells like bird seed with a tasteful hint of vanilla and orange blossom. Aw. Martlet sounds like she smells good. You fake a yawn. Marlet starts talking faster still. Take this, intruder. Oh! Oh! Oh, I see! I see! Those are harder to... Okay, I think I can position myself. Okay, got it. Got it. Just close. Okay. All this lack of movement makes you realize how cold it is. <laughs> um... Rusher again? You tap your foot on the ground. Marlet tries talking even faster. Whew! This is real, this is a real workout. Keep it up, Martlet. Yeah, Martlet, keep it up, bud. Oh, she's getting tired. Yeah, she's getting tired. <laughs> All this lack of movement makes you realize how cold it is. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, thank you. You tap your foot on the ground. Martlet tries talking even faster. Huh? What? All right, oh! Don't, you, don't throw things at me! Oh, that one bounced. Um, hold on. I'm checking this one more time. That can't be right. You're not fighting back. I don't want to hurt you. You're all cute and stuff. <laughs> you go on and have your turn. I'm going to check the handbook again. Martlet is flipping through her guidebook again. Just keep rushing her. You tap your foot on the ground. <laughs> See, when I apprehended that girl, I didn't have this problem. Well, I guess she didn't attack me per se. But she scolded me and got real aggressive. Like... What are you on about? I'm not human. Clear the feathers out of your head. Would you mind being aggressive like her? <laughs> I Insult? No! I don't want to! You tap your wrist impatiently. <laughs> Come on, get aggressive! I can't take it, I swear! Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can only make me sad. <laughs> I'm not doing it, you fake a yawn. Come on, get aggressive! Do I have to? Okay, I'm gonna do it. You call Martlet a weenie. <laughs> I would call her a weenie. Oh, that was adorable. I don't even feel insulted. I feel like I've been honored. You put so much work into that. You aren't making this easy here. Here I go, protocol and all that for the Royal Guard. Oh, oh, this reminds me of one of Jevil's attacks. I hated it. It was like a carousel. Martlet catches herself getting lost in the music. Should I insult her again? I don't want to. You tap your foot on the ground. Martlet tries talking even faster. Give it another try. I believe in you. Fine. You forcibly tell Martlet you don't like her clothes. <laughs> That's more like it! <laughs> what kind of rural guard wears rags like these, right? It's not like I stayed up all night suing them. Oh, oh right, it's my turn. That was so mean. I feel bad for insulting her clothes now. She sewed them all by herself. Martlet is trying to strike a pose that looks professional and imposing. Are all the royal guards like this? You insult Martlet's job performance. I have to say, you're not wrong about that one. I've kind of been on probation for a while. One more misstep and I can say goodbye to royal guarddom and all the nice perks that come with it. My cozy uniforms, my royal guard discount at the movies, my nice insurance rates. When they find out how much I hesitated here, I'm doomed. I mean, they specifically said don't hesitate. I got it. What did you do? If the Royal Guard doesn't know you're here, they won't know I broke protocol. <gasps> Martlet, you sneaky. Instead, we'll just get you home before any of them see you. You'll be home in no time for dinner. 
I mean, maybe not today's dinner, but for sure, a dinner. Anyway, we'll bypass the royal guard and plead your case to Asgore. There's no way he can say no to a cute little face like yours. Meet me up ahead and I'll show you my plan to get you home. <laughs> Bartlett is just like, but you know what? If I lie, I can keep my job. More power to you, Martlet. That's sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. A note is nailed to the kiosk post. It says, Hello, traveler. Due to infrequent breaks, I am prone to snoozing on the job. If you're reading this and I'm asleep, please don't just walk past this checkpoint. That would dock my pay for sure. Ring the bell to wake me up instead. Thank you. Martlet of the Underground, Royal Guard Snowden Division. What if I ring the bell now? There's a notebook on the counter titled, My Puzzle Blueprints. This must be where Martlet sketches her puzzle ideas. Uh, don't leave that out, out in the open, Martlet. Hey there, so here's the plan. I'm sorry, I think that I went a little overboard, but I can't help it. This is all too exciting. So I've been saving this for a rainy day. You know, figuratively. We don't really have those. Either way, behold, the UG Aviator. In the water sits an old looking raft with just enough room for two passengers. Isn't she a beauty? Boats are she boats are she's, you know. I call her Ava for short. Isn't that cute? It's uh, Martlet, you're adorable. Uh, it's too much for me. If my map and memory serve, this river should lead directly to Hotland. From there, it's a hop, skip, and a leap to Asgore's castle. I'm not sure how we're getting in, but we cross that bridge when we come to it, right? I also wanted to apologize about, well, you know, attacking you. I meant no harm. Honest, I just have to do my job is all. And, well, oftentimes I don't know what the right action is until it's too late. So, I know we've just met and all, but will you trust me on this? <laughs> Absolutely, Martlet. Yeah, don't worry, your trust is in good hands. Or wings, as the case may be. I'll guard it with my soul. And this means we get to have an adventure. This is so exciting. I mean, nothing this exciting ever happens around here. At least while I've been here, it hasn't. Think of all the fun we'll have. I mean, there's a chance I might be fired for this and lose all of my life's work and belongings, but hey, what's life without a little risk? So shall we be off then? But what's... Hold on. No, what's the other way? Oh, you have something to do? I didn't realize you were so busy and popular. That's fine. I'll be here. Take all the time in the world. Actually, if you wouldn't mind, don't take, like, all the time in the world. We want to have time left for your journey, you know? <laughs> I like how she says, you know, like Noel. Okay, there's nothing left here. So we're skipping Snowden? I mean, that would make sense. That'd be, that makes sense if there's new areas to explore and we just like went around the outskirts of Snowden. All right, let's go. Wait, Bartlett! Oh, she can fly. Wait, Bartlett! Wait, hold on! I was supposed to be on Ava with you. I was like, wait a second, what is happening? <gasps> it's Waterfall! We're here! <gasps> so, hi! So I was thinking, if Ava doesn't have sails, does this still count as sailing? Yes. Because of the little flag. Pretty smooth ride, yeah? My woodworking skills aren't too shabby. I suppose I should thank my mentor older fellow by the name of Chu Jin taught me everything. He, well, never mind. What's wrong with Chu Jin? He's, he's been mentioned before. Hey, so would you mind answering a few questions for me? It's nothing big. It's just a little quality assurance questionnaire. Will you try it? Yeah. Great. Question one. On a scale from one to three, uh-huh. How would you rate your encounter with the Royal Guard? Please answer honestly. A three! Wait, really? I got a three? I've never gotten a three before. Oh my goodly goodness. I can't believe it. I got a three. I have to tell absolutely everyone. Okay, sorry. Got carried away. Let's keep going. Question two. On a scale from one to two, how would you rate the puzzles deployed in Snowden? Two! Really? 
things. I made them myself. There's a reason I was assigned to work under the royal scientist. The royal sci- wait, hold on. Who's the royal scientist right now? I mean, it's because I got last choice of station, but still. You pick up a few things, guard, and all that science stuff. Anyway, back on topic. Question three. On a scale of one to four, how would you rate the auditory ambient? What does that mean? Okay, that's a new question. Why do they keep updating this? Let's just forget the questionnaire. I'll just put you down as dead center for the rest. That sound good? Yeah, that works. Just a two there, and a three, and a 2.15 year, and 23, and we're done. <laughs> what is dead center? Oh, and one more thing. I'm gonna need your name for legal purposes. You know how it gets, so you know how it gets. It's Clover. What a unique name, I love it. So Clover, let's talk about Ava. Isn't she great? I told ya. Sails like a dream from a perfect lullaby. Nice pace, pretty view, and not a single leak. Oh well, there's a little one, but not too many leaks. We can just sit back and relax and, hey, do you hear an abnormal amount of running water? <sighs> waterfall, of course, we're not gonna make it all the way to Hotland. Well, we are in Waterfall. It's just me or is the river getting faster? Well, if anything, it... <laughs> Her eyeballs are huge, Martlet! Uh-oh. How are you gonna... Um, I might not have been down this route before. Hold on to something. <gasps> we're overshooting. Oh my god, where are we going? Hey, look, it's Holland. This is our stop. Wait, we have to dock here. Slow down. There, it's not... Yeah, I don't know about that, Martlet. Oh no, oh no, oh no! <gasps> we got separated! Hello? Clover? Are you okay? Oh no, oh no, you stay right there. I'll go get help. Oh, we did, she found me. I'm not staying. <laughs> Gonna hop right back up there. Where are we? Clover, you just keep falling deeper and deeper into the underground, my little friend. Hi, Flowey. Howdy, Clover. What a day this has been. Thanks to that guard, we're totally off course. It looks like she ditched you as well. I guess it can't be helped now. There's got to be another route to the As another route to Asgore's castle here. Tough it out for now, and we'll see where this new path takes us. A little excitement never hurt anyone. Well, except you. Let me heal you up. <laughs> Thanks, Flowey. 